curse you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Shalom lekulam, brujim chavayim. Hola a todos y bienvenidos. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with us, for uh, tuning in today. Uh, this is um, a beautiful collaboration that we have put together, a group of friends, brothers and sisters from Israel and United States. And we are very, very thankful, very thankful to God that we are able to do this. Uh, we all know that in these times, uh, this is a time where we as believers have to come forward and put our grain and our seed to bless our beloved land of Israel, but not only our beloved land of Israel, but to bless each other and to support each other. Thank you so much. Today, as we enjoy this beautiful concert that we have put together, I want to pray that the floodgates of heavens are open. We have uh, put this beautiful concert to support the talented and amazingly uh, beautiful human being, not only a wonderful musician, but our friend and sister Shai Soul. And I am humbled and honored to be able to be a vessel to uh, contrib be, make my contribution. This is not only my effort, but it is the effort of, of, of a group of people who love Shai and more, more than anything who love God. So we will start out by just saying a few words that are very important. This will not only be a music concert, but it will also be a time for to get to know Shai much better. So I want to start by saying uh, a few words from author Leo Buscalia. He said, your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift back to God. I personally think Shai gives a tremendous meaning to these words. Her talent is truly a gift which she has def definitely put to God's service by bringing light into the world. We hope and I hope that you enjoy this concert that we have put together with much love. And we pray, like I said before, that today your heart is moved to bless this amazingly talented woman whom he, we all admire and who has given so much of her to all of us. Just like our Avraham Avinu, was called to be light unto the nations, so are we called to be a light of hope and love. From the Borinquen's Farad Latino Music Project, I am very pleased to be singing along with my brother and colleague from many, many years, Omar Castro, the popular Latino song, Abraham Avino, Luz de Israel, Light of Israel. I hope that you enjoy it. Oh, yeah. 
Abraham Avinu, Luz de Israel, Light of Israel, and we are called to be light unto the nations. And I know that you would all agree that Shai, it's a beautiful light unto the nations. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Shai, but before talking a little bit about Shai, uh, I want to pray that we're all enjoying it, that we are all receiving the light and the love and the blessings through all of this music that we're sharing with you all. Um, any donation, any donation is important or what's the amount. Of course, I know that prayers are, are a huge support at this time, but we are also asking that your heart is opened to, to, to donate whatever amount our creator puts in your hand and in your heart. So the links are there on the screen for you to, to uh, be able to donate through PayPal. And, um, and while we continue to, to enjoy this beautiful concert. So now I want to talk a little bit about the childhood of Shai Sol. <laughs> Our sister Shai Sol was not, was not thinking that we were going to do this, but we are going to, because whenever there's a person with a lot of talent, there's a story, there's a backstory to it. And the backstory many times, and in all cases, just such as it happened with our uh, forefather, Abraham Avinu, that backstory of their lives, it really forms the character of this, of this person. And so Shai Soul certainly has been formed with a beautiful character throughout the, the experiences of her life. So um, Shai Soul started showing signs of her gift and purpose since an early age and her gifts were sealed in her name. So for those who don't know, Shai means gift. And her mom, Abby, tells us that sh she was a gift indeed since she was born on her mother's birthday. So she was born on her mother's Abby's birthday. Now, Shai, it's her birth, his, it's, it's her name uh, regarding to her being a gift, but Sol is the Spanish uh, of sun, or we could say light, and it's, it's being given to her after her Moroccan grandma who was married to Grandpa Shlomo, and we can see them in the picture. There's uh, Grandma Sol, Grandpa Shlomo. Uh, her mom, Abby, says that uh, Shai, as a child, excelled in Torah, and she even won second place in a Hanukkah quiz. One time, uh, Tamar, her teacher in school, asked them to write three words of a psalm on their notebook, and Shai wrote three complete psalms. I can't, I can't believe that. <laughs> and talking about Hanukkah, this month of Kislev, in the Hebrew calendar, we all know that is known as the month of miracles. Today, I really am believing for a miracle for our dear Shai and whoever is in it at this time. We artists know how difficult it is um, and it can be at times. But as people of faith, we also know that our God, our creator is still able to perform miracles. If you feel lead to bless Shai with a monetary donation, you can do so by donating any amount through her PayPal account, like I said before, but more than anything, let's pray for a miracle. And not only a miracle uh, for Shai, but a miracle for all of those who are in need at this time. And a miracle for all of those who have a voice, such as Shai, that that voice will go out as a light onto the nations. Now, believing in a miracle, I would like you to enjoy the beautiful and uplifting music of Jewish singer-songwriter Kaylee Halperin, directly from Israel. Hi, my name is Kaylee Halperin. I'm a singer-songwriter, community activist, and mother from Jaffa, Israel. I've known Shai for a few years now, and I admire her heart, her soul, her music, her voice. I'm so glad that there's people like you that want to support her journey and so she can continue and sharing the gift from God that she gets um, that come in the way of songs and words and melody. The song that I'm going to start singing is called Alanisim. It was released last Hanukkah. Alanisim in Hebrew means about the miracles. It's from a prayer, a Jewish prayer on Hanukkah time. 
and um, I had the privilege that Chai joined me in the recording of the song. Um, the song is about finding little miracles, specks of light in times of darkness. Looking for my miracle to come and shine a light on the darkness and fear. Night fire within and help me find what I've lost this past year. I, I need I just love that song. Kaylee Halperin's music is on Spotify and we will be linking all of her information so you can find her music. Such a beautiful music, such a refreshing music, a beautiful Jewish young mother, songwriter. And yes, I am believing for a miracle. Um, and let's, I just want to tell you that the link to PayPal, it's also uh, written down the box below uh with this video so you can always go back because this video is going to stay here for a while and look at the link and you can click the link directly from there so i want to keep on talking about shy um and i'm just going to tell you a beautiful story uh some time ago uh we had an instagram uh live with shy and in our conversation she told me this beautiful beautiful story about um about the darbuka and and something hap that happened to her when she was six years old shy began playing darbuka at the tender age of six and her virtuosity to play such instrument came as a true gift of god and here's the story. While experiencing a really difficult time at the early stage of her life, while they were being expro expropriated of their belongings and home, her mom, Avi, told Shai, they can take material things from you, but they can never take away your musical gift. That is remarkable because that's exactly what it happened. And from that moment on is when the miracle of, of playing music happened on that moment of distress that God gifted or, or anointed Shai with such a beautiful gift. At the age of 16, she taught herself to play guitar, began to sing, to write songs, and amidst the difficulties, struggles, and even having been neglected by her 
own. She was found, she always found a way to write her own story and to believe in her purpose as she also started writing songs. Now, I'd like to present to you Yiska, the singing harpist, another soulful singer whom I get to call my Puerto Rican Sephardic sister. And she would also be followed by a, another beautiful rendition of Kayleen Halperin. And I just want to share with you that I am so honored to be able to have such a beautiful group of women, musicians, mothers, sisters, lovers, that are putting and bringing their voices uh, front forth for the cause of our God and, and just uplifting our hearts. And so I am so blessed and so happy. I, I want to tell you all that I am very proud of you and that I, I, I am completely honored to, to be able to have you here today. So enjoy the music of, of um, Yiska and Kaylee Halperin.
The next song I want to share with you is called Hine Ole Ha'or Mitzion or Ha'or Mitzion, The Life from Zion. The words are Hine Ole Ha'or Mitzion Zoreach Uba Bishlal Tzvei HaKeshet Menashek Umayana Merape Me'ever Ladimion Hine Ole Ha'or Mitzion And it means in English Here comes the light from Zion Kisses and heels in all colors of the ro- rainbow. Here comes the light from Zion to heal more than we can imagine. Thank you. 
Thank you to all the organizers of this amazing event. Generous and kind. Thank you for participating and helping support a beautiful and amazing artist. Thank you, Shai, for being you and continuing to be the light you are in this world and being a vessel through which um, such beautiful music comes. Thank you, Kaylee Halperin, for being such a beautiful soul as well, for your beautiful music and for your beautiful willingness from day one to participate in this event and for your kindness. You are a beautiful soul and we're so happy to, to have you being part of this. Uh, for all of you, follow Kaylee Halperin as you can here, she has beautiful music as well as Yiska and all of the artists that are here uh, sharing in this event. And just reminding you the link for Soul PayPal account, it's on this video. This video will stay for a couple of, of you know more days and you can continue to share with other people, social media. It's also being posted on my Facebook page, Arlene Soprano Music. You can, uh, people who cannot connect on YouTube can go to the Facebook, to my Facebook page and watch the video and share it there. I know that we can make this happen and I am just so honored. I am just a little, little tiny part of all this and you are the most important part because you are much more than any of us, I mean like, in quantity you are a lot i see people here from puerto rico from lebanon colombia south africa california venezuela i am in awe and i know i i wouldn't expect less because i know shy is most beloved in all over the world and i want to continue that is why i right now i want to continue to share uh some of the life story of shy and we will continue by talking a little bit about uh, Shai's music career. Um, Shai played music with some friends in her community in Ashdod. This is at the beginning of her music career. Ashdod is her community. And eventually in 2014, she landed a spot on an Israeli, Israeli TV show called The Rising Star or Kohat Chaba. In 2015, she joins Israeli messianic band Mikedem and releases her first album, Yesh Or. And guess what that is? That is, There Is Light. It's a perfect title for her first album, <laughs> I think. I don't know. I don't know about you. Don't you think? Um, while uh, playing Mikedem, Shai records in two of their albums and tours the USA and and Poland. Shai has made important music collaborations with several artists um, and among them is Yaron Cherniak, uh, who's also a member of Mikedem, um, also with Gilad Hazan, which is uh, her beloved teacher, uh, a, a very well-known teacher, um, Kaylee Halperin, who just sang right now, Aaron Schutz, um, with myself, <laughs> I was honored, and we will talk about that a little later. I was honored to have her singing one of my songs. And with Yair Levy, with whom she recorded the renowned song Nefana, which became a very well-known, famous song all over the world uh, after COVID. And we all know the story about Nefana. And, um, and we know our beloved brother uh, from Israel, Yair Levy. And so I would like for you to enjoy now the music of, like I said before, our beloved, beloved Israeli Jewish singer, songwriter, and amazing, amazing producer, Yair Levy. Hey, shalom, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, so as, a, as you know, I was so privileged to release the song Refana with Shai Sol. And the reason why I choose to send the song to her and to ask her to collaborate with me in this song 
is because that I really love her voice. Um, but after I met her, I understood that there is something else here, uh, that she is like a very special soul. And that's why maybe this is why she called Shy Soul. But that's why I think that people really love the way that she's singing because she's putting all her heart in the singing. And for me, it's a great, great privilege to, to be a friend of, of you, Shai, um, to call myself a friend of you, and to have the privilege to collaborate with you in the song Elfana. And I think that I can say that you are one of the reason and big reason why the song spread all over the world. So thank you for the privilege to work with you. And I'm sure that we will keep working together. Let's sing Grifana. <laughs> to share with you a story about Chai. Um, after we finished to work on the song Elfana, we started to work on the song uh, Anenu. Um, we work on the vocals and I felt that she's like a very good teacher. She gave me a lot of tips about how to sing and how to bring my soul to and how to get more confidence about different ways to sing. Um, and I feel that right now I, I, I started to understand that she is one of the reasons why I got confidence to release a song like Keter Crown a couple of weeks ago 
that in this song I'll sing a little bit different than before and thank you Shai for being kind of a teacher and still kind of a teacher for me uh, about uh, how to sing and how to uh, get uh, to be brave with the way I sing so let's hear Kete Kete Hashem, thank you, thank you, Yair, thank you, such a beautiful soul. Yes, our king is Kadosh, he's, he's holy, and we crown him every day, and we crown him whenever we uh, praise him with our acts, and whenever we are looking um, at each other with compassion and love. So thank you so much, Yair. Thank you for your precious music. And on a side note, I want to mention that um, I am very grateful too. Uh, I had the blessing to collaborate with Yair Levy uh, by translating the song Refana in Spanish. And I am very, very honored and grateful for that. And also another thing he mentioned about Shai that she is a really good teacher and I can, I can attest to that because Shai Sol was uh, my Darbuka teacher for a while. And let me tell you, this, this, this woman has a way of teaching that only in a few classes I was able <laughs> to play, not just like her, of course, but I mean, decent enough that I sent her a couple of videos and she said, oh, you're good, you're good. <laughs> so, but... That is because, yes, I agree with you, Yair. Uh, Shaisal is a great, great teacher, I think. And I am a singing teacher myself, so I know that there's got to be something 
a passion, a calling to be able to teach. And so, and I think uh, Shai has it. Um, I want to keep on saying hello, uh, Romania, uh, Dominican Republic, Tennessee, Texas, Israel, beloved Israel. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Keep on sharing, keep on spreading the word. And uh, we're going to continue on. Um, and I want to share a little bit of Shai's uh, mom's heart because we all know that uh, Shai's mom is very important in her life and it's been also her supporter, her, of course, her beloved mom. And we know that she is a very beautiful, very, very beautiful soul because she has a very beautiful mom as well, Avi Tan. In the words of Avi, Shai loves to help society and her contribution is so great, but her purpose is to sing and sing praises, says Avi. Financial difficulties have worn out the path towards the fulfillment of God's purposes over Shai's life. My prayer and hope are that God's might will glorify in the middle of it all and will show her that she too deserves to receive and not just give. Throughout her extremely difficulties in life, God has given her grace and favor and Yeshua has been our strength and healer. I have to attest to Shai's generosity and her joy to give. And I am, I am in agreement with her mom that God's might will glorify in the middle of every situation and that he will show her his grace and favor and that she can receive his blessings and that she will be receiving blessings that she will not be able to count. <laughs> over uh, abundant, abundant blessings. Um, I also want to share with you, uh, so I was blessed enough and I am very humbled and honored also, like Yair said, to be able to call myself a friend of, Yai, of Shai, also Yair, <laughs> but of Shai and more than her friend, her sister, and um, her sister in the faith. And I, I want to share with you that some time ago, I called Shai, I was writing this song, which was very meaningful to me because I started writing it right after I came back from Israel in the middle of the pandemic, uh, COVID. And I came back from Israel and our, our trip got cut short and I left part of my heart in the land. And, um, and I started writing this song based on Psalm 92. And for some reason, Shai's name kept on coming to my heart. And it kept on coming to my heart. And if there is something that God has shown me along this journey, is that whenever he puts something to do in our heart, to put ourselves aside and just think about his purpose because many times we think well what about we are not this or we're not that i don't know what is she going to say uh who am i to ask shy to record a song with me and i follow what my heart told me and to my surprise <laughs> shy soul was so generous uh she 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 heard the song she liked it and she said yes let's do it and i remember her telling me I am just worried because I have never recorded in English. And I said to her, you're going to do just fine and I will help you. And you know what? She didn't even need much help. She did it. <laughs> and I am so, so, so honored and blessed to have been able to record this song, which is very, very, very um, important to me and significant to me because it speaks about what God has done in my life and how wonderful his works are over our lives. This is a Shabbat song or a Shabbat song, I should say. And the same thing that I am praising about in this song about how wonderful his works are, that is exactly what I am wanting for Shai today, uh, that she will be able to praise Adonai, our God, because of the wonderful things that he will be doing in her life. And I know she knows it, I know, but I am talking about this specific event and how, how, how our father is going to, to glorify himself with, 
with might. So I would like to share with you El Elion, accompanied by my dear and lovely friend for many years. Let me tell you, Omar Castro is a wonderful percussionist. We went to music school together in Puerto Rico over how many years? Oh my God, he's right here with me. <laughs> over how many years? 30 years? Yeah. yeah. 30 years. Yeah. Oh, I said it. I didn't want to say it because then you will <laughs> guess my age. But yes, we went to music school together. We both graduated from music and um, well, the creator has brought us together and we are doing many things together and he accompanied me in this song. He's a talented percussionist. Uh, he's sponsored by Daryl Symbols, which is a company based on Turkey, right? Yes. And so I am very honored to have another wonderful musician uh, with me in this song. Enjoy it.
Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the comments and I am so, so happy to see you all connected with you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being so bold and being here and sharing your, your love for God and your love for the, for the land of Israel. And I want to thank you. Thank you all from, from the bottom of, our, of my heart. And I know that Shai is very grateful for this as well. Um, remember to make your donations to uh, PayPal, uh, Shai Sol. And also you can go to um, her music uh, page and, and download Shai Sol music as well as every artist that you have seen here today, they have their Spotify. Um, Shy Soul has her um, Shy Soul Music Band Camp, that where you can download her music as well and support her on her journey. But also, if you can make your contribution today, I pray and I ask you that you may do so, and you can bless her. And I, I am hoping to hear the wonderful things that that God is doing. Um, some fun facts about Shai Soul, and we're about we're about to to finish this concert. And um, some fun fun things, fun facts about um, Yair. Yair, I mean not Yair. Oh my God, I stayed with Yair in my head. <laughs> Such a beautiful uh, performance, Yair. Um, about Shai, Shai loves animals, and especially cats, and she enjoys surfing as well. And something that she and I have in common, and we've talked about this, and I already told her that when I go to Israel, we have to drink lots of it. It's coffee. Shai Sol loves coffee. <laughs> and we love coffee too. Omar loves coffee too. So that makes us three. Um, and she really enjoyed working, teaching music uh, to children with disability. This is something that Shai Sol did. Um, she did teach uh, music to children, so there you go. She's a good teacher. I know that she is. Um, and also, um, she, like I told you before, she loves the beach. She loves surfing. So, Shai, we have many things in common. I also love the beach. I also love surfing. <laughs> Back in the days, I don't do that anymore. Uh, <laughs> many, many years ago. Um, and so, I look forward to go to Israel very, very soon and, and be able to, to enjoy all of, the, all of those things. Um, well, there is someone else who has some things in common with you, and she will be sharing one more of her songs, and that is my beautiful Puerto Rican uh, Sephardic sister, uh, Yiska. Um, so let's see what she has to say and welcome her back and enjoy her music. Shalom, Shai, Ani Iska. I know some Hebrew. I studied Hebrew in Israel some years ago, and I grew up around the Hebrew, but I'm going to speak in English because I know it a little bit better. Here's my chicken farm. <laughs> it's a small one. And my tiny house is also very small. Um, I just want to tell you that uh, you blessed me. Your music is a blessing. Sorry, my kitty's talking too. Uh, I actually heard you sing and play music live uh, maybe 10 years ago in Pennsylvania at a conference and uh, I just I've loved your music since then you are a blessing to so many people we love you so much and um, my prayer and hope is that you are encouraged and reminded that no matter what Hashem is always with you and he's always going to provide for you even when it seems like it's not going to happen he is so bless you. I pray that the music blesses you and um, yeah, you're not alone. Shalom, shalom, my beloved sister. Amen.
So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Yiska, for uh, taking part of this event. Uh, follow Yiska, uh, find her music uh, on the digital platforms and, and support her ministry as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful young woman of God. Um, well, we have gotten to the conclusion of this concert, and many of you are asking about Yangon. Yes, Yangon, it's coming. He's coming up. <laughs> He's coming up next. But before, before um, I I leave you all with with Yangon, um, I would like to. Um, to give special thanks to a couple of people who made this possible. First of all, I want to give thanks to our amazing tech guy, uh, the technical producer and the producer of this beautiful show, our brother uh, from my beloved Messianic Synagogue from uh, Philadelphia, Beth Emanuel, uh, Daniel Ramos, um, Daniel Ramos, that is Daniel Ramos right there from VP Crew Productions. He's doing amazing things, amazing things, amazing things. And um, you have it there if you need him. <laughs> Just uh, look him up and, and, and contact him because he's amazing. Thank you, Daniel. Without you, all of this would, would have not been possible. We stayed up until late at night and he kept on, on you know, updating me about everything and he, he's just the best. So thank you so much. Also, another very special person that I want to um, thank is Lara Sanders. Lara Sanders is the manager of Shy Souls fan page. And Lara was the one who started to contact the artists uh, for them to be able to participate for this concert. She actually came up with that idea um, about, hey, um, then why, you know, I, I told her about how I was thinking about putting together a benefit concert. And then she started doing the work and she did an amazing, amazing uh, work in reaching out and following up and, and, and gathering stories about Shai. So thank you, sweet Lara. I want to tell you that you are amazing and that everything you do, you do it with so much love and so much excellence that it shows. It shows. So you were a huge help. Thank you so much. Much ahava from me to you. Um, and uh, of course, I want to thank you, all of you uh, who took part of this event, the, the artists, the beautiful friends and, and colleagues and collaborators. Thank you so much. And all of you supporters, all of you who are watching this concert, all of you who will watch this concert later, all of you who will support Shai, all of you who will make your donation, all of you who have been praying. I know that there have been a lot of people praying. Um, Thank you so much, all of you, uh, because I am an artist too. I am an artist with um, a gift that I I gave on to, to our God, our creator. It doesn't belong to me. And so it belongs to him and he does however he wants. And so it is very rewarding for us to know that the message is, is, is it's reaching out, that the message is getting to where it has to, to get, which is your heart. And so we are very thankful because it is not of us. It is of him. And as long as his purpose is fulfilled in this world, then we are happy. We are happy and, and we are more than, than, um, than fulfilled in that sense because it does not belong to us. And I know Shai will be thinking and, and, and feeling the same thing. So now, our last guest is Mikadam's band member, Yagon Cherniak. Um, and Yagon is probably one of Shai's closest uh, musicians, amazingly, uh, or musicals, amazingly talented friends, uh, because they've had so many experiences with music and they had, they went on a tour and I know that they're still working and collaborating. And Yagon has been such a, such a kind and 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 willing um, artist from the very beginning as well. Thank you, Yohan, for your amazing participation. I know that 
you were very busy around these days as well, all of you, all of the artists as well. So thank you so much for your participation. Um, and we are more than honored for your collaboration. So enjoy Yaron Cherniak. Hi friends. I'm so happy you were able to join us for this event. I just wanted to share a few words about my friendship with Chai and our collaboration over the last years. As part of the group Mikedem, a band formed to sing the Hebrew Bible, we were able to travel the world and see different communities joining us in singing so eagerly the word in the Hebrew Bible. Not only that, me and Shai share a common love to traditional songs called Pew Team. Both of us like to compose it in different tunes and scales from the Middle Eastern music cultures. I would like to share with you one tune um, for a psalm um, that I compose with this instrument called Shurangiz, a Persian instrument. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you could join us in one heart in singing the Word of God. Bless you.
Thank you, Yagon. Thank you so much. Such a beautiful, beautiful performance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who has been with us today. Don't go just yet. There's a last uh, surprise for you all, and I, you all have been expecting it, so I won't even announce it. But before I, I uh, give a closure to this event, um, I want to sh uh, share with you uh, some words. And before those words, I want to also thanks, thank my community of uh, Fellowship Winter Springs. Uh, they have been great supporters and our beloved pastor, uh, Roger Diaz, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's a, a fan of Shy Soul. He loves Shy Soul's music and he gathered a, a group of people to watch this concert. Thank you so much as well for, for, your, um, for your always, always support. And thanks to this community, I was able to go to Israel after many, many years that my heart was longing to go to the land. Um, and so of, of our ancestors, so thank you so much. Um, and I will end up by saying this. Music is a powerful gift which God has given us to manifest his love and light. Our creator is using music as a bridge to gather us from the four corners of the earth, just like the prophet said it, and to prepare our hearts to bring us all back home for the time of redemption for his Yeshua, his salvation. Every artist here and supporter here today is serving this purpose by supporting Shai today. Also you as a supporter, as the audience and I are building a bridge of light to the nations that we can all, we can all come together and worship the wonderful name of the God of Israel and crown him just like Yair said, crown him with glory because he is holy. And thank you so much for having supported us. Please continue to make your donations, continue to share this video. This, this video will stay up for a couple of more days, both on my Facebook page and YouTube uh, channels. And just keep on continuing to support Shai Soul through her music and um, all of the beautiful artists that joined us today in this beautiful event. Thank you, thank you all. May the Lord bless you and keep you for now and forever. Amen. Shalom, everyone. It's morning in Tel Aviv. I'm on my way to work. I uh, just want to say a quick thank you for everyone. Um, first, I want to say thanks to God, our Father, because I know all this challenging time uh, I, we had its promises. And we trust him, and even in the not easy times, we knew he had a plan. And now I can see that he used his people, his beloved. And I have a honor and privilege to have such a dear family, support family around the world. So I want to say big, big thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, thank you, it's not enough word to say. Uh, but I really appreciate that and it's mean a lot and I want to say thanks for all the great artists that take part and to Elin and Lara that organized this and all the people that have in their heart to help and support. Thank you so, so, so much. God bless you. Bye bye.
ציצים ופרחים ושושנים נעים כאדם המלך בשדה ומלקט שושנים ופרחים נעים אחת לאחת אחת לאחת נעים אחת לאחת אחת לאחת עד שעושה אגודה אחת ודיבור הוא יוצא מהנפש ודיבור הוא יוצא מהנפש ודיבור מהנפש, כן, כי כל דיבור ודיבור הוא עולם מלא, וכשאדם עומד להתפלל, הוא מדבר דיבור או תפילה, אזי הוא מלקט, קט, 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 ציצים ופרחים, ושושנים נעים כאדם המלך בשדה ומלקט שושנים ופרחים. נעים אחת לאחת, אחת לאחת, נעים אחת לאחת, אחת לאחת. Thank you.